Hey, y'all. What you doing? Guess what? I know the lighting. Okay. All right. So, it is like one minute till kickoff till Super Bowl. And I'm headed to a Super Bowl Sunday school party. But guess what? I'm making caramel corn and it was sort of a last minute for me. I didn't know for sure if I was going to get to go and I don't even have cable at my house. So, and you know what? I can't even keep up with the football anyway. So yeah, all you haters out there about Nay Nay not knowing much about football. My job as the football party is to do stuff like this. Pop 15 bags of popcorn and make caramel corn for all my friends. That's what my job is. So sort of in every year I bring caramel corn to the Sunday school kickoff party and the Super Bowl party. So, I think we've got like 4, 8, 12, uh, 12, 14 bags here. So, I don't normally, what you do, let me pull this back a little bit. Okay. So, what you do is you want to, yes, I bought one of these big, huge tubs just to make this corn in. I'm going to set it there and pray to God that it doesn't flip out on the floor. I would, I would cry. Y'all would see me just like pitch a big old fit like a kid. But anyway, hear all that? Those are kernels in the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to like lightly sort of do this and like pull to the top and sort of let make sure no kernels. And so, for some reason, the popcorn, I'm having to peel out like a little piece that's like, to me that's burnt. I don't want to eat that anyway. So I've been, uh, one of the bags got a little toasty and it somehow got poured in here amongst all that. So what you want to do is sort of make sure the best you can to sift out all of the kernels. And I'll show you. And I got my pan on over there. This is my, and I, I put dump popcorn in there cleaning it, so I'll wipe that out before I start. But what you want to do is put equal parts for one batch. Okay, for one batch, depending upon how heavy you want your caramel on your corn, if you just want it light and crispy and just really yummy, you can do four extreme butter bags. Yep, mm -hmm, the, this is what you want, guys. The extra butter. That's what you want. I know. So what? If you're going to eat it, just... If you're going to eat it, do it. That's like my mama and daddy always said, a job worth doing is worth doing right. And that's even making caramel corn. You hear what I'm saying? I ain't lying with you. I ain't joking. I ain't tricking. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be extremely brave because I should like already be there, but I'm not. And I'm going to go ahead and do three big batches at once. So I'm going to do three sticks of butter and that's a lot. Three sticks of butter. Um, so that's a cup and a half. So what, what I normally do, one batch, let me start back. A half a stick, I mean a half a cup equal parts. So that's one stick of real butter. That's a half a cup. So a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of light brown uh, sugar, and a half a cup of white corn syrup. So, equal parts. So, I'm going to triple that. So, I'm going to do three sticks of butter, a cup and a half of corn syrup, white sugar, and uh, brown sugar. So, here's what you don't want. See that? Just a little crummy little pieces with all the with all the popcorn kernels in the bottom. Just just throw that in the trash. And so, you have to you have to just plan a little ahead of time and come in here and pop all this. And I know I'm already on three and a half minutes. But I'm going to show y'all, and I'm, oh, I'm so brave. Uh, I think this is just 12 bags. 4, 8, 12. Yeah, this is 12 bags. So, it's a smaller batch than I usually do, but it's still going to fill up this container about halfway. It's going to be easier to stir if I don't get any more than that. If I get more than that, I'm going to be like, what was I thinking? Because you don't want to try to make candy in big batches. I mean, I've made disaster there before. Okay, so, here we go, here we go, here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep the show just rolling. Go, go. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't win the prize for remembering words, and I didn't win the prize for uh, learning how to dance, and I didn't win the prize for, well, I probably didn't win the prize for anything, but it's okay. I, I won the prize because God told me that I got to make the wake-up list this morning, and um, he loves me, and I know it, and I'm so ever happy. Okay, all of this that I dropped on the counter here, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and see this real quick. I'm going to take, oh, that's, that's smoking hot. I feel it come off. So where I use this as one of my containers to, uh, you know, to separate my popcorn, I'm going to now take three sticks of butter. Y'all going to see this really quick like. Three sticks of butter, 
And I'm going to bring this. How many minutes are we on? Oh, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, y'all. Five minutes. Okay. Let me, let me do this. Let me pause it. I'm going to put three sticks of butter, cup and a half, cup and a half, and a cup of half. Why? Because four bags times three is 12 bags, and so the, I'm tripling the recipe. Yeah. Who doesn't triple a recipe when it's caramel corn? Hello. I sure do. Because you know what? These hips, they take maintenance. Yep, that's my line. That's my nae line. These hips take maintenance. When somebody's like, you know, I was like, oh, I got, you know, everybody wants to uh, not lose their investment. Well, how much money have I spent on maintaining this body? A long time. I have done spent so a small, a small or a large fortune. So, I'm going to just keep it up just a little. So, anyway, I will pause this and I'll be back when I get over to the stove here. Just a minute, okay? Just a second. Pause. Okay, so so far I've got all three sticks of butter, a cup and a half of brown sugar, and a cup and a half of white granulated sugar. And this is not going to come out so easy, just for the record. I only should show you. Uh, as far as easy out of this thing, I usually would just eyeball it. And I know people get upset. I can't believe you're eyeballing that. How can you do that? I know it's just because, I don't know, I just guess I've done it for so long. So I'm probably going to squeeze a cup in there. And then, oh, God, that's so pretty. That looks like something... I don't know. That looks like some sort of a science project is what that looks like. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a science project. See what I'm talking about? It's pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm amused at the smaller things in life. Okay, so here we go. I'm fixing to get that out of there. I'm fixing to come over here to the stove. I've already got my, uh, my stove top on, my range. I've already got my popcorn prepped. This will go pretty stinking fast. So seriously, like in five minutes, we'll have this done. Okay? And... I know the video can't go that long. So I'm going to pause it. Hang on. Okay, y'all. So I'm back over here at the stove and I have this on. And what's the word? Does anybody that has ever watched me make my caramel corn, because this is probably like my third video because people forget to go back and look and they're always like needing new ideas and reminders. And I didn't find your video on the caramel corn. Would you please repost it? Well, heck, I probably can't find it either. So I'm fixing to just repost it. So what's the word? Does anybody remember the word? First of all, the magic tool is a wooden spoon. doesn't have to have a hole in it. It's just one I picked. The magic word is you want your candy here, your caramel, to turn. Who knows it? Who's saying it? I know I can hear you. Frothy. Frothy. You want this to become frothy. You want it to be bubbly and like, like look like an air bubble. Frothy. So, I've got all that in here. I know y'all can see it. Can you see me? Okay, we are on almost eight minutes. So when I get to 10 minutes, just by the way, or a little bit over this, my video won't upload. So that's why sometimes I break them down into smaller videos. But I'm going to stop this until this gets frothy, and then I'm going to show y'all, and then I'm going to go pour it and stir it and stir it and stir it. So give me just a minute, y'all. Okay? Okay, y'all. It's starting to get bubbly. The All the butter just finally melted. Does that not look like the most awesome big vat of caramel? Holy cow. You know, if you wanted to add like a whole, uh, like one big can and one small can of pet milk to here about now and get that going and make it creamy and then add like uh, about a third of a cup of brandy, you know what this would be? Brandy butter caramel sauce. Yes, it would. So you do it and cook it down. You would just let the milk just make it be caramely and creamy. Holy cow. So, yeah, you can do it. Don't think you can't do it. And if you don't know how, I mean, I made this up totally because I just I just played with it until it became something that I thought, it needs this, it needs this, it needs this. And so, I made it up. Okay, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Can you see? Yeah, you can. Let me scoot this a little closer and you'll see the pan. Oh, no, that won't work. My video camera's going to fall over in my pot and that's going to be... That, then I never get to do another video. Okay, 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 okay. See that cooking? You see that? Okay, see where the air bubbles are coming in? And you got to stir it. Believe you me, you got to stir it, okay? I mean, get down here on y'all's level. You know, like when you're talking to kids and you're getting on to them, you like, get on their level. Okay, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. And I, oh, I've only done this one more time this many at a time. And it was last year for the Super Bowl party. Same thing. And it turned out, it did. Just got to be careful. Frothy, frothy, frothy. See how it's doing that? Can y'all see that? See, you got to pop the air bubbles in. It's going to just start going. It's going to get frothy really quick. 
And when it does, then I'm taking this bad boy over there, and it's going to be a chore, but I am going to stir, 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 stir. Oh, my gosh. I'm seeing the air bubbles work their way in there. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, sort of like the bacon grease I can smell from this morning, and this, I mean, it just doesn't get much better than this. Oh, yummy, yummy. Okay, there's the frothy we're coming after. Oh, can y'all see that? It's coming down there. It's going to be yummy. It's going to be yummy. I'm up to 10 and a half minutes. I'm going to have to upload this to YouTube and then come back to my page. So, because I don't know how to break it all up. Well, that's okay. We'll at least have it all on one. It'll be good. It'll be all right. Frothy, frothy. That's what we're after. Oh, got to cook just a little bit more. It usually doesn't take this long, but I usually don't have this much at one time. Okay, okay, I'm voting, I'm voting that I'm, I'm done with this. I'm voting that this is all we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to move that off the stove just a second because I'm going to bring y'all the camera over here so that we can have this moment together. Please! Oh my goodness, that looks so stinking good. And heaven forbid if anybody ever poured that on themselves. Sweet Jesus, Lord, that would be a disaster from I don't know what. You would just, you wouldn't have to worry about fingerprints. You wouldn't have to worry about anything. It would be horrible. Horrible. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, too. Just to de deglaze that pan right there. Oh! Okay, some of that, car some of that corn. I'm just going to put it back over in here real quick that I don't have that caramel on. Oh, my gosh. And, and I'm going to have a little bit in the floor. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to get what's left in that pan out of there just like this real quick. Yeah, I know, I know. If y'all's kitchen ever doesn't have something in the floor, you know, I don't even want to talk to you. If you're so neat that you can't eat off the floor, you can eat off my floor probably about seven days a week. I don't know what you'll be eating, but you'll be eating something. Today it's popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to get that, and I need to really be stirring this, but it's not hard. It, it'll take a few minutes to harden. It takes a few minutes to cool. Okay, so. So what you're going to do. Oh, I feel that. You see that? Man, I wish somebody was here just to have fun with me and see this. This is so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Talking about. Oh, and if you wanted to, like, throw a big old bag of pecans in there. Right now is your time to add pecans. Talking about a caramel corn popcorn ball. Uh, no, nobody's got anything on the caramel corn popcorn ball this time. And this will get, this will dry and it'll get sticky. And fiddle faddle, fiddle faddle ain't even got nothing on Nene crack corn. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I don't want to be like trying to act like I can do something fiddle faddle can't. But I'm just saying it is some good stuff. And you don't even realize it's coating it. But it is. Sometimes you can't even see, but it is like de stupid licious. So I'm going to finish stirring that up. And I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all next time. And I hope your party wins at the Super Bowl and all you Cowboys fans. Just, just know uh, there's always next year. Love y'all. Bye.